this is where we left in the last video in that we have changed the password successfully now we're going to continue where we left so let's come here and this is the reset password this is the send email this is the hash generation reset password now let's come here and we have to create um, one more function this will call updating password earlier it was changing the password and now we are working on the updating the password so let's bring the functionality for that we'll say export dot update password and you have to understand one thing that changing password and updating password is a two different thing so it will take the request response and it will have this next for updating the password we have to follow a couple of steps so let's write down that so get user from collection of data so first thing we have to find the user who wants to update the password so let's come here so the second step we have is the check if the user posted current password is correct the third one we have is if update the password and the last one we have is log user after password changed so these are the four steps which we have to follow and i believe that you guys can do it very easily it's the same repetitive things we have to do here so i just want you to give a try from your end that how you can build the logic to do this how to get the user from the collection how to check for the password then how to update the password and how to log the user so it's a very simple one which you can do it very easily and okay let's write it down so first thing we have to do is to get the user from the collection so we'll take a user and all the data we have in this user i'll call this find by id and the reason why we can easily able to access the data request.user id because user can only change the password when he logged into the applications then he can without login he cannot change the password so he we have the id in that we're going to call this select method because earlier we have not displaying the password in the output so here we have to specifically select the password because we need the password to find to come do the comparison so we'll pass the password for the particular user and here we're going to wrap this into a catching function because we are dealing with the promises so that looks good why i'm getting this error remove this one okay fine let's come here in the second step but before we do that let's come back into the user module and here we have to here you can see here we are checking for this correct password so the user is providing the password we have to check that so this is the instant method we have already built and we're going to utilize that simply copy that one come here and that's what we're going to call it here so we'll say if await correct password request dot password confirm so the password user is providing user dot password then we have to simply do this return this next and we have to display the error message if it's not matches the password which user is providing and we'll display this error code hope this entire thing makes sense somehow the application got crashed so let's see what i have done wrong mm. and here i have to provide this and it's still crash okay and here now it's looking back so i have to brag provide one more bracket now it's look good so we have this function which can check the password user is providing and the password is already there in the database so we can compare that on the base of the data we can easily able to find that the password is right or not and then we have to simply update the password so we'll say user password is that ragged body password because the user will send this new password and we have to do the confirm password as well to run the validation and then we have to simply call the safe method because we want to update the password so it looks good very simple function hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and let's come here come here on the top and here we have to create a small function so we'll say create send token because once a user will send the password we have to do something okay so let's write the functionality we'll take this user status code and we'll take this next And let's convert it and here we can come and you can see these are the code we are writing over and over again so we are writing this code three times the same code so we're going to convert this into a reusable module so simply copy that one and paste here 
and here we have to do the changes so status code to be status code and here we have to simply copy the user and that's what we're going to send it here user so that's the upper usable module and this is the function we're going to call it come here so first thing we have to simply grab this and comment this here we're going to call the function and in that we're going to pass the data we'll pass this new user with the status code and we have to pass the request response so these are the three things we have to pass simply grab that one come down here and here we are into the login and here we are sending the same response simply paste here and comment this comment this and here we have to call it let's say this time user not a new user and this time status code is going to be 200 and we have to send the response simply grab that one and we have to do one more so if you come here where it is and scroll all down we have written so many code so here we have so simply paste here and we have to simply comment this and right now we don't need to do any changes so this looks fine to me so we have converted that function into a reusable module and now we are utilizing it and here we go to call the same one and this will be user a response the same status code so it looks fine no more error we have our application is running fine here let's come here go to the go to the router user router and here we have to build that router so simply copy that one paste here and this time we're going to remove this and we're going to say update me my password and here we're going to simply remove it we'll say protect because we have to check whether the user is logged in or not and this product the function we have created will do that for us and now we have to simply call the auth controller and then we're going to call it update password so that looks fine this is the function we have created and that's what we are calling here so it looks good to me come back here and simply copy this one open a new tab and we have to paste here this time we're going to call this patch method and this will become update my password looks good here we have to set the authentication so bear token auth so it will have the token now save it okay i forgot to rename this and just rename it so i'll call it update my password looks good save it and now looks good and here we have to simply define the password in the body so click on raw json bring this down and we'll take this and we're going to define the password so first thing we have to define is that we have to check the current password so password current because this password current we are checking the password we have in our database and then we are updating so we need a current password then we need the actual password the new password and then we want to do the confirm that's simple save it now come here in the user login and here we have to first log in as a user so we can change so this is the admin we have click on this and here we got this error message that incorrect email and password okay recently we have changed the password to this user and that's why we are getting this error message okay so let's come here go to the new user and let's create a new user so this time i will say that let's say rayan and send a request and here you can see this is the new user i have created but here it says that new user is not defined why why it's no user is not defined this is the error message i'm getting let's come back to the code and the errors is coming from create so here we have auth controller if i come up here and let's see where we are creating the user so so where it is so here in sign up so for the time what i will do so this is the new user we have and that's what we are sending here so let's do only comment this and let's uncomment this for the time being save it come here and make a request and you can see it's working fine and here we got this duplicate key error because this user is already get created but we got the error when we try to fetch that data and display in the front end so let's do the changes email email and now create one so if you create and here we got the new user so looks fine now we are to grab this password and that's the password we're going to provide so let's come here update my password and we're going to provide that current password save it first 
close all this existing one so grab this password grab the email and we have to log in first say login click on this so we are logged into the application try to log in we are getting this error message new user is not defined why it's coming here so maybe we done something wrong in our function the where we are generate where we are sending creating the token we are doing something wrong there so here is the problem we have so this is create send token we have the resolve function we have created and this is the user and here we have to say not new user we have to say user and because of this we were getting the error so let's bring this back so i can simply comment comment this and simply comment this out and that looks good now if you come here and sign up and let's create a new user it will work fine so let's remove that one create enter and you can see it's working fine we got the new user back simply come in the login section and here we have to do the changes hit a request and here we can log into the application so both one is working fine and now we can simply update the password so first i need the old password simply grab that one and paste here and here i have to do the changes as well so i'll say that dollar thousand simply grab that password and paste here so these are the my new password and hit request and here i got this error message it says that correct password is not defined not again so we make a mistake in our instant method so let's come here and let's try to find out and here we have this update password inside that we are calling this method so first we have to change this it's not password confirm it's current password because that's what we want to compare with our database password not confirm password current password so this is the one change we have to do and and here we are calling the function straight away but we have to provide that this function is available in this user okay so that looks fine save it and now it will work fine so come here and now if you try to if you try to give a wrong confirmation password and hit a request you will say you will get this error message it says that the password is not like validation here the password confirm password is not the same the validation error you are getting so it's working fine if you remove that and give the both the password same so you make a request and you can see the password is changed and we got the token back if you come back to the database and let's see what is the name we have given akhtar so this is the akhtar we have let's scroll all the way down and you can see this is the we have here refresh it and you can see let's come here what i want is copy this test go to this test simply grab that one come back in the update my password and paste here and save it save it and now we have to create a new user let's create it and this time it will work fine so now we have to simply log in get the email come back to the body and provide the email and simply log in and this is the password 123 actually this is the password copy and paste i don't want to make any mistake so this is 1234 hit a request and now you can see it's working fine we got the new user and here we have this token already exist in and we have pasted this token in the test so we have the access and now we can simply change the password so let's click on this and this is let's provide the old address so this is my old password of the account which we have created just now and this is going to be the new one now if i reload if i come here and you can see this is the password we have assigned this is the new account we have created and the password we have is this you can see you have to keep in this mind q3u so this is the hash password the moment i will click on this send you can see the we have successfully changed the password and we got the new token back and if you come back to the database you can see at the moment i will refresh it will change so refresh and now it's changed q e w so the password is got changed looks fine hope this things make sense to all of you and these looks good we have no issues so far all the function is working let's close all this open ones login post restrict to we have forget and we have this reset we have this update so we have written so many functions and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video with that let's move to the next video